there. <coughs> I'm Bullet a Bulldog, and this is the 2022 Class Senior Video, made by the AV Team. I gotta say, Cud. Nah, my probably has to be Mr. Cud. He Mr. Cud. Cud is like a little big, chubby Michelin guy. But he's like that country uncle you never asked for. He's that guy with the mullet. Because I can really just be myself in there. I can cut up, laugh, and still maybe learn a little bit. Stanley. Mr. Stanley. Probably have to say Stanley too. Forever be my favorite teacher. Just makes you feel comfortable. Cause he makes us feel like. We're all brothers in that class. No, for real, Stanley's the best. If I'm being honest, man's a frat dude. Yeah. <laughs> Choir teacher all the way. Uh, my favorite teacher would be Miss Jenkins. Miss Jenkins? Miss Jenkins. Miss Jenkins. She's really sweet and caring and she's understanding. She's so cool. That's it. <laughs> she's so cool. Uh, she was a child development teacher and she was really sweet. Favorite teacher and why? Um, my favorite teacher has to be Miss Kitchens. Also Miss Kitchens. Miss Kitchens. Miss Kitchens. Um, I'm gonna say Miss Kitchens. Miss Kitchens always had my back. She's just a very like caring person and she's always gonna be there for you. She's a really safe person to go to. She's like a little kid to us. Like, she'd be spending a lot of her business. She always brought us food, she always got us snacks, and also because she deals with a lot of stress and work and she always manages to pull through. And I see that as inspiration. I aspire to be like her. My favorite teacher is Coach Rachel's. Coach Hader. My favorite teacher is Coach Williams. Mine is Rachel's. Coach Williams. Coach Thomas. Uh, my favorite teacher is Coach Rachel's because he was my coach. We have a lot of dope conversations and he's a pretty chill dude and the work is pretty easy in there and it's a fun class. Because, I mean, I've been here my four years of high school, so yeah. He just had my back. Um, he would like fight other teachers because they were getting on my nerves. He always lets me do whatever I want in that class. I get to sleep. He's just chill. That's it. He's a great coach. He's easy to talk to and he's always fun to hang around with. Mine is Miss Hanson. Miss Hanson. Miss Hanson. It gotta be Miss Hanson. Ain't no way around it. Uh, I mean, I gotta say shout out to Miss Hanson. Uh, Cause she's a serial cool. If you need someone to advocate for you, she's the one. And she's always checking in uh, just to make sure you turn in your work. Because she lets me talk about Harry with her. Uh, she put up with a lot of my bull crap. She's really nice and understanding. Miss Hess has always been there for me no matter what I've been through. And she pushed me through all three years of high school. Uh, my favorite teacher is Mr. Weaver. Mine is Weaver. Uh, Mr. Weaver. My favorite teacher is Mr. Weaver. Um, Mr. Weaver. Probably Mr. Weaver. He lets me do whatever in his class and he like helps a lot with assignments so he was always chill to be with. Why? Because he's always willing to help me and it's really funny. Just because like he's adorable and he's like super nice and he has a lot of stories. Mr. Weaver, he always gives me inspirational quotes. As long as I have change in my pocket, I'll never be poor. He made learning fun. And I actually memorized stuff in his class, even though it was really hard material. Because he used to throw things at me in mm -hmm. class. And I was the only one in his class, and I'm his favorite, Carrie told me. And I'm his teacher assistant too, so I'm an executive. If you know him, he's a funny man. He will hit you with like pens, paper, anything in sight, a yeah. brick. But he does it in a nice way, with a smile. That's his way of doing it. Ms. Mohanovic? It's Ms. Mohanovic. It's gonna be Ms. Mohanovic. Ms. Mohanovic. Miss Mahanovic. I love Miss Mahanovic. Miss Mahanovic. She was really chill. Like, she helped us out with a lot of things. Because she was so, like, caring about everyone, not just, like, one student. She would actually care about your emotional and your grades. Oh, she, she taught me a whole bunch of stuff. Just because she always, like, helps everybody. Because when I used to skip, I go to her class. Miss she nice. she gave me snacks, too. She still got snacks. Cause she'd be passing me even though I was failing. <laughs> and 
<laughs> like she'll be helping me out and girl, I'll just be, I'll be struggling. Uh, every time I go to a class, it was pretty fun. Oh, Ms. Mohanovic. <laughs> yeah, I liked her. Ready? Yeah. One, One two, two, three. Ms. Jankowski. Ms. Jankowski. Ms. Jankowski. Mr. Jankowski. Mrs. Jankowski. Mr. Jankowski. Mr. Jankowski. And Mr. and Mrs. Jankowski. There's Mr. and Mrs. Jankowski. It's Jankowski. Mr. Jankowski. It's Mrs. Jankowski. Mr. Jankowski. Mr. Jankowski. Also, Mr. Jankowski. He's, you know, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> um, they're great teachers. I feel like she's just like a second mom. This class is like really chill. He's like a really cool teacher. He has a way of like doing things. He's such a geek, not gonna lie. Funny and they're really down to earth. She's funny because he's hilarious and nice. Class of 2022, now what was your favorite moment at Trimble Tech? My favorite memory is actually freshman year. Um, in gym, in gym class, we had this little tire and we would always go in and we just roll each other. See, my favorite memory would have to be that trip we took the Six Flags to the choir. Oh, yeah, that was fun. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter though, because again, Six Flags was, was just a moment, but yeah. I'd, I'd say Six Flags too, but also every, every other moment in choir. That was all. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna brag, I kind of made tech history getting She's to captain a two time district champion team, so. <laughs> we went out to eat to Jack, <laughs> and then she punched me. <laughs> she scared me. And I had the trash bag from. <laughs> From Jack, because I was gonna throw it away. And so she punched me, so I got scared, so I hit it with the set. My favorite memory from high school is, was this past weekend. When we spent, we went to the regional finals. We spent a hotel with my teammates, and we won we pulled both games. And now we're state bound this weekend. Uh, my favorite memory from Tech has to be freshman year during like gym class, where me and my friends, Fernando and Victor, we were playing around with the tire that was like right there in the uh, football field. And we, we decided to get on top of it, and suddenly we, the tire just flipped over, we fell, and it was just la we were it was hilarious. We were just laughing it off. My favorite memory would probably be joining the football team. It was like, it was a scary thing coming to high school, coming from a small middle school, and then. My favorite memory was when uh, I was in my major and we was singing karaoke, and Kennedy Hook, she started singing. She started singing for me. She can't sing, but she started singing for me. Meeting her. Oh, and graduation, even though it hasn't happened. <laughs> I'm just saying. Meeting her. My favorite memory is when we went to um, the movies in ninth grade year. The movies? No. This whole, bas this year's basketball season. Uh, hang on a second, I gotta perform this real quick. <laughs> uh, last year's seniors, I sang the national anthem, and that was pretty cool. High school golf tournament when I played in it. I'll say the senior sunrise. Soccer season sophomore year. My favorite memory is whenever I asked her out for homecoming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, hang on a second. I gotta check focus here real quick. Is it working? <laughs> My favorite moment, probably sophomore year homecoming when they lit the uh, lit fireworks on the football field. My favorite memory would be possibly homecoming of sophomore year. Homecoming, homecoming at the party, homecoming week. Just turn it up. Homecoming, homecoming, homecoming. Last year's homecoming, junior year. What? They had homecoming last year? I mean this year, I'm stupid. I think homecoming, our sophomore year. We didn't go to homecoming our sophomore year. Yes, we did. I didn't go to homecoming my sophomore year. Bro, we <laughs> went to homecoming. What's my favorite ring? It would have to be a sophomore homecoming. Oh, yeah, sophomore homecoming. Sophomore yeah. homecoming. My favorite memory was homecoming in uh, our sophomore year? Yeah. Our sophomore year. Homecoming, sophomore year. Homecoming, sophomore year. Sophomore homecoming. My favorite memory would be sophomore year, Coco. Homecoming, sophomore year. My favorite memory is sophomore homecoming. 
Homecoming this year. Homecoming. Homecoming, the one that just passed. Um, mine would be this year's homecoming because it's the first homecoming that like I actually went to. The homecoming after party? Homecoming. Homecoming. Mine has to be seeing your year homecoming. Bro, I was that gonna was say so the fun. same thing. <laughs> For me, it will be homecoming senior year this year. Homecoming week, senior year? Probably has to be homecoming this year. Now, some of you are the most embarrassing at this school. Tell us, what are your most embarrassing moments, class of 2022? My most embarrassing moment was literally senior year. <laughs> I, I was in Kut's class, it was first semester. And I had the urge to throw up, so I ran like down, but like I was on the second floor and I couldn't make it. So I saw the teacher's door open and I grabbed the trash can out of like his room and just started throwing up. And then the janitor saw me and was like, oh, you're throwing up? Yeah. We was coming back from lunch and it was a fire drill. You know, it was already late. So we like, why everybody outside? But like we didn't notice like afterwards and I hit a bad U-turn. Music was loud. So... <laughs> So embarrassing. Yeah, I got my arm stuck in the vending machine. <laughs> and there was a line for me behind me, so I started getting scared and nervous. So instead of like gently taking my hand out, I yanked it out and I have a scar. I was sitting with my friend and someone threw a ball at my face and it bounced <laughs> from my forehead. <laughs> It was so embarrassing, and all my friends, like, all she did was laugh, and I was so embarrassed. Honestly, every day is embarrassing for me, but, like, I always fall down them stairs, so if you ain't seen me fall down them stairs, you just missing out. Ramos was, like, yelling at us because Nikayla decided to <laughs> drive with me and hit donuts Bro, with me on top of the car. It wasn't even that bad. It, it was. wasn't a donut. It was. It wasn't a donut. But she was going in circles. <laughs> One circle. Half circle. I was on my way to school in the morning, and my truck just decided <laughs> to shut down in front of a stop stoplight, and I was just causing a bunch of traffic. People from Tech were passing by saying, hey, are you all right? And I was just there shaking, trying to figure out what was wrong with my truck. <laughs> we had to do the Google like meets, and I, one time I was in choir, and I had fell asleep on the live, and it was me and another girl still on their sleep. <laughs> The most embarrassing was when I hit a front flip at a football game after catching two trolley horses. Doc said, go, go, go to the table. I said, I can't walk, I can't walk. And I started hopping and I hit a front flip and just sat on, sat on my butt and he forced me to go to the table anyway. I had Mr. Les class and there was like an old desk and he said, don't sit on it, it's old. And I was like, I'm gonna sit in it. It's next to my friends, I'm gonna sit in it. And boom, the, the desk just collapsed and my butt was on the floor. And he made me carry the desk out of the classroom. My stomach, like if the room's quiet, it just be growling loud. Uh, my embarrassing moment probably be uh, when I crashed my car twice. Homecoming this year when I dressed like a girl. And you know, I tripped in front of like everybody in front of the lunchroom. Did All you, Liz? Uh, you know, I didn't feel alive at that moment. <laughs> Fire drill that day, and I tripped in front of everybody that day, and everyone just turned around and looked at me, and I start, I yelled as I went down. So everyone looked at me. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. When I got hit in the face with the soccer ball freshman year, in the morning, and then I went home. She was crying. Yeah, I was crying for like, like, like a lot. When I went to lunch, and I was with a girl, right? So I was with a girl, and my friends, they passed by, and they brought on all the windows, and they had this song. They were like, La Vaca, move, La Vaca, move, La Vaca. And then the girl that I was with, she was like, aren't those your friends? And I was like, no, they're <laughs> not my friends. It was sophomore year, and I was trying out for volleyball and we had to run a mile around our school and instead of me going running like she told me to do i went out to my car <laughs> to go get like a picture of chris brown for inspiration so that he can 
got me on my journey of this walk. I was last and it was like, go, let's go. It was very embarrassing. Okay, so I had some boots on and I was running my mouth on the phone and I was arguing with somebody and I was running down these stairs and I fell and everybody was looking at me. They started laughing at me and I just laid there for like a good five seconds. The rails, I had slid down them and it, uh, one of the things caught one of my shorts, my underwear was showing and nobody told me. I had that closure and my lace was lifted <laughs> and yeah, that was bad embarrassing. <laughs> Freshman year, and it was during passing period, and I was like sick, so I was like coughing all the time, and I coughed in some girl's face, and she started yelling at me. <laughs> My sister had bought me some fart spray for Christmas. It ended up opening <laughs> Lop in my backpack it was smelling just like farts. <laughs> oh my god, it was smelling like eggs, fish, <laughs> and then like all these seniors. And I, remind you, I was a freshman. All these seniors would come in McGlynn class, and they was like, "Us, thank you." <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my most embarrassing moment was the time that I filmed. <laughs> what was it called? Again? The hurdle. You did a hurdle. <laughs> I did a hurdle. And I fell on my butt. No, I fell on the side of my... In and front of all the varsity soccer boys were right there too. <clears throat> Love is in the air. Who is your senior crush? Mine is this Labrador down the street. I know, her name is Sarah. <laughs> my senior crush is Armando Mata mm. and uh, Luis Vasquez. Mm. My senior crush is Emily Garcia. <laughs> I love your senior crush. crush. So, um, who is it? The winner is <laughs> my good friend, Victor Campio. Number 13 on the girls' soccer team, the captain. If y'all know, y'all know. <laughs> my senior crush, his name is uh, Lukai. Yeah, Lou. Yeah. I would say uh, Josue. I don't know his last name, but he's saying. Uh, all the black women. <laughs> Love a black woman to infinity. My senior crush, oh, where do I start? Angela, bro, Angela, she can get it. Kiki Davis. My senior crush would have to be Giovanni Lopez. Okay, because I got me a little something right here too. Can I get out my chair? All right, so Emily, boom, gotta have her, gotta have her. Now, Brianna, she got my heart though. And I eat. I mean, come on. Been there for me since day one. I gotta have her, gotta have her. My homegirl, Judith. Look at this. This was there at homecoming. His name is Raylan. But I don't want my future husband, because it's going on YouTube, right? Um, I got a few. Devin, Josh, and Alex. Uh, and another one, Jennifer. My old senior crush was Daniel Jimenez, the soccer player, varsity. Ooh. Used to talk freshman year. Nani. Let's, let's not talk about it. My senior crush would have to be Nathan Moody. So handsome. I have a situation ship going on, so there's not really much I can see. KT, Dane, Dylan Alva, <laughs> uh, Alon. My senior crush is Ostrich Lay. Go Kennedy Green. I like, I like, it's a one girl, she pretty, she like Gladys, Jenny, oh, yeah. Margarita, Emily, yeah. Melanie pretty. Bershana, um, Andres, Angeles, Christopher, <laughs> Stephanie, Dylan, <laughs> Ahmad. <laughs> Oh, oh, huh. come on. I have somebody else, Jamarion. <laughs> and uh, Blackberry Kiwi Khaki Soccer Ball. We have Minion. And we have, who else? We have you. Have <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? In a big house, financially stable, with a big family? Oh, sure. In 10 years, I have my house, I'll be financially stable, I'll hopefully be traveling and just happy, just living life. I see myself with a house somewhere in like some gated neighborhood, like living off in the 
Midwest of the U.S. Hopefully that's like the plan and then just living life, hopefully not six feet under. Yeah. Uh, I see myself living in his basement. Married with three kids and probably a business. Um, I'm gonna be working for some tech company making like six figures. So. Really? Yeah. I say at a barber shop cutting your man's hair. I either be in the military, you know, keep going up rank, retiring it, hopefully, if God has it that way. Hopefully working for a firm and designing homes. Um, actually having my own business. You know, good money, hopefully a family, I don't know. 27 seems too young. So. Seven kids. <laughs> have like a stable job, have my own house, and I would be fine if I had a family or not. Graduated already from college um, with a job in either nursing or me having my own business and traveling. Married with kids and still teaching first graders. I see myself uh, obviously graduating college and having a pretty good job and a family. Hopefully have my life together. Hopefully have a house, a car, a truck. Pimping. Simping. Well, studying for my tattoo career, you know. That's what I like doing. Just focusing on that, probably, yeah. Um, hopefully, probably working at a big engineering company, maybe like NASA or something like that, I don't know. Either doing construction or some pipeline with my uncles. In two years, I see myself on a movie set directing people and just living my best life. I see myself, you know, getting into peace, working in psychology or the medical field somewhere. Married, having a job, and then four kids with a house. Being rich, <clears throat> successful. Ten years from now, I see myself out of medical school, you know, starting my residency to become an anesthesiologist. Mm -hmm. A rich in general. If not, I'm just going to go to Dubai and find me a rich husband, marry him, then there we go. This is going to be that. Uh, I see myself financially stable. Hopefully with my girlfriend, I don't know. Hopefully. Probably still in college, for sure. Just not in debt. And this economy, hater, come on now. You said that economy was good. What's going on? Get it together. Mm. Mm. I see myself opening several shops. So y'all be looking out like a good four years for Chanel's vision, cause you know, that's gonna be the thing. Yeah, we gonna be in that thing, some rich people. And it probably like have a football fill of kids, you know. Hopefully I'm living on a ranch with like three horses, like five goats probably. She wanna be country. And I want a cow, so probably a cow, probably two cows. Hopefully being an elementary teacher for kindergartners. Um, in 10 years, hopefully I'll have my own business, have be financially stable, my own house, and be traveling. In 10 years, I see me having a career in sports medicine, maybe helping out NFL and NBA teams. Owning a production company called TKE, gonna be the biggest and the best. I see myself, uh, Probably still full time in the army. Probably have a kid by then. You know, probably start a family by then. Um, I plan on you know having my own shop because just paying this one fifty every week is not cutting it. No. I see myself like owning a whole bunch of businesses and like doing like really like big things on my music. Taking Mr. Reynolds' job sounds nice. I would say that. Now, seniors, do you have any advice for these underclassmen? Do your work. Do your work. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Just go to class. Don't try to skip. Just go to class and do the work. Stick to your classes, like your core classes. Please do your work. Please do your work. Don't do it the last second. Stay in class. Go to class and turn in them assignments. Don't skip. Don't skip? Well, skip, but like not too much, okay? Go to class, bro. Attendance is so important. Don't, don't skip, because if y'all skip, it'll come back to you. Go to class, cause attention recovery is not fun. Yeah. I promise. Oh. Go to class, bro. <laughs> yeah, don't be me. <laughs> get your work done. You can have fun later. I promise you. Senior year is gonna be lit. Just get your work done. Have fun. Throw parties. Go to parties. Don't skip. Do your work and listen to your teachers. Uh, to stay focused. Your attendance matters. Stay true to who you are. Like, don't change for no one. Get your work done early. Try to make friends pretty early. Don't be scared to make friends. Just enjoy these moments. Stay in task. Don't, don't fall out. 
Don't think everybody's your friend because they're not. Don't be so uptight. Have fun. Don't be one of them kids that always gotta be extra to make friends because <laughs> no nobody like that kid. Do your work. Just stay <laughs> Just to yourself. Do your work. Stay don't to yourself. Slack. Don't slack on your grades. Even though you're a freshman, don't slack because your GPA will mess up. Freshman girls, <laughs> do not focus on that senior guy. Like I said, if she breathes before the streets, don't be chasing these girls, man. <laughs> Just focus on your work. College is where it's at. That's what I'm telling you. That's all I gotta say. It's Have no regrets. Literally, do what you want. You're only young for so many years. Have no regrets. Live life the way you want to live. Your life does not start until after high school. From 2022 was fun. Let's take a look at what we saw with our correspondents, Gavin and Adolfo. Hello, I'm Gavin. Levin. And my name's Adolfo. And we are here at the Trimble Tech 2022 prom, where we're gonna ask some questions to some seniors and we're gonna interview. We're going to see what they're wearing today and hopefully we're gonna have a good time. Adolfo, how do you feel? Honestly, we're gonna have some fun. We're here to, you know, just have a great, amazing night. One last night, one last good send off. One last good send off. And we hope that you have a good time. Let's get in there. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no fear. The camera's here, and the microphones, and they want to know. Oh, oh, oh. If you are what you say you are, a superstar. Trying to cash his microphone, check 212. Wanna believe my own hype, but it's too untrue. The world brought me to my knees. What have you brung you? Did you improve on the design? Hey, for one, love, love, love the outfit tonight. What is y'all favorite part about y'all outfits tonight? I gotta go with the jacket. The corset. Um, I'd say the shoes. Uh, I guess about the back of my dress. I'm gonna say the jacket. I like the jacket. The jacket's dope. The jacket's dope. Oh, right, right. It's the fact that I look like Little Mermaid. Probably right here, just the sequence. You know, all of the stripes, it really fits well with me, you know? Honestly, I would just say the red, low-key. It matches a lot. Uh, probably the tie. It ma matches with their dress. Hey, oh! That's the blue. Is that the blue and stepping yeah. up together? Uh, how we look like vampire king and queen right now. Especially me, Marticia Adams. Oh, God. Uh, my pockets. Because I can keep my phone in here. What? <laughs> my heels. <laughs> The color! Yeah, the color. Partially the colors. I love black and red. Honestly, the color. Like, I fell in love with this color when I first saw this dress. My tiara, of course. All the girls look beautiful with them. From mine gotta be the royal blue. The back, the back, the back, the back. But do you hope to dance with anybody tonight? Uh, I started dancing with her uh, this night. We were the first people on this dance floor and brought everybody up on this dance floor. My boyfriend, maybe, my friends. My girlfriend. Each other. Each other. Each other. Each other. Yeah. My boyfriend. My husband. Yeah, hopefully, you know, I stack somebody up up here that's single, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know? Maybe if a girl came here by herself, I might dance with her. I'm just waiting for the Dougie to play. I might. If y'all see me dancing with a couple people, don't even mind me, because I might dance. She well, not. one, two, probably. She not. Yeah. She not. I might. What songs are you guys holding going to play tonight? Euphoria by Jungkook from BTS. Y'all better play that. I hope they play some Kodak, or they at least play um, some Future. You guys see like guapangas is mostly? I guess, corridos or norteños? They're definitely going to play some Drake and SZA. I already know it. everybody's going to be in their fields. Something I can get ratchet to. To be loved by Adele. Uh, reggaeton. I can bust the mood to anything. That's what a real dancer does. What? Prom king and queen. Who do you think? Queen, Kendall, King. Oh, um, it's probably gonna be Eric. For sure, my girl Kendall is for sure winning, and I think Eric gonna win. I feel like definitely Paula's gonna Paula's definitely gonna take the TR for sure. Well, you gotta vote my boy Brian over here. I voted for Natalie, but I feel like it's gonna be Eric, but who knows? I'm really not sure who's gonna win. I hope I win, because I was running. I hope she wins. Uh, Ani, 
Reagan to win because I want to see a black queen win. You know what I'm saying? You know about time a black man won something else now? So I say vote for Jacob Williams if it was possible. I think Eric Dan is going to win. I think it's going to be. Seniors, we're gonna have to take a moment of silence for our great principal, Mr. Ramos, who will be tiring this 2022 class, but will be all in our hearts. We love you, Ramos. But the ultimate goal, all right, the ultimate goal is to work at the at the ballpark, see all the baseball I want. I've had 19 years of telling people, you can't sit there, please get up, show me your tickets, all right? So I can do that. All right, folks, let's go. Let's get to class right now. I've got 40 years on all of you, and I can walk, move a lot faster than you can. One, two, three. Happy Senior Day! We out. Happy we out. Senior no. Day? Yeah, we, oh. we can't. We can't. Can I hear her at least? Happy oh. Senior Day? Uh -uh. <laughs> it's this the front. What do we got to say? Happy Senior Day? All right, you go, you go that way, and I go that way. Hit him with the At the camera? Happy Senior Day? Happy, Happy senior, senior Day? Do we throw them? <laughs> <laughs> Not hit the camera. Yeah. Who are you gonna throw it to? And knock over the camera, break it, break it. Like... Happy, Happy senior, senior Day! day. Happy, Happy Senior, senior day. day! Happy Senior Day! Happy Senior Day! <laughs> Happy, Happy Senior Day! day. Happy, senior Happy Senior Day! Happy Senior Day! Happy senior day. day. Happy Senior Day! 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 Happy Senior Day!
Happy Senior Day! Happy Happy Senior Day! Day. Just wants to know that you're